Ancient viral DNA in the human genome linked to mental disorders. About 8% the modern human genome are viral remnants of ancient infections from thousands of years ago. Until recently, these fossil viruses were thought to be just junk DNA, but it turns out they may increase the risk of developing depression, schizophrenia, and bipolar disorder. Viruses attack all cellular life forms. This has been happening since ancient times and the traces of these attacks can be seen in the human genome. About 8% human DNA consists of sequences of endogenous retroviruses, HERV, human endogenous retrovirus, which infected humans thousands of years ago. The genetic material of these retroviruses was passed on to subsequent generations and became permanently incorporated into the human genetic material. Until recently, it was assumed that these fossil viruses were simply junk DNA that did not perform any important function in the body. However, recent research suggests that some of these ancient sequences in our genome increase susceptibility to mental disorders such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and depressive disorders. The results and description of the research were published in the journal Nature Communications. Until recently, most HERVs were thought to remain dormant. In new research, scientists from King's College London have discovered where the sequences of these fossil viruses are found in our DNA, allowing us to better understand when they are expressed and what functions they may have. Scientists have shown that viral sequences in the human genome have unusual levels of activity in people who are genetically at higher risk of developing certain mental illnesses. As the authors of the paper emphasize, this study is the first to demonstrate that a set of specific HERV genes expressed in the human brain contribute to susceptibility to mental disorders representing a step forward in understanding the complex genetic components that contribute to these conditions. This study uses a novel and robust approach to assess how genetic susceptibility to mental illness influences the expression of ancient viral sequences present in the modern human genome. Our results suggest that these viral sequences likely play a more important role in the human brain than initially thought. Specific HERV expression profiles are associated with increased susceptibility to certain psychiatric disorders, said Timothy Powell of King's College London, CO author of the study. In their work, scientists used large genetic studies involving tens of thousands of people, both with and without mental disorders. They also used information from analyses of the brains of 800 people submitted for medical research after autopsy. Analyses showed that certain genetic loads preferentially influence HERV expression. The researchers found five HERV expression signatures associated with mental disorders, including two HERVs associated with the risk of developing schizophrenia one associated with the risk of developing both bipolar disorder and schizophrenia, and another associated with the risk of developing depression. Many genes are responsible for mental disorders, and HERV sequences are only part of the puzzle. Although the exact impact of these sequences on brain cells and a person's susceptibility to certain mental disorders requires further research, the researchers' findings indicate that genetic susceptibility to mental disorders also results from the activity of ancient viral DNA sequences. We know that mental disorders have a significant genetic component, and many parts of the genome gradually contribute to this susceptibility. In our work, we were able to examine parts of the genome corresponding to HERV, which led to the identification of five sequences relevant to mental disorders. Although it is not yet clear how these sequences influence brain cells to increase risk, our findings suggest that their expression is important for brain function, said Rodrigo Duarte, of King's College London, 
first author of the paper. Further research is needed to understand the precise function of most HERVs, including those identified in our study. We believe that a better understanding of these ancient viruses and the known genes responsible for mental disorders could revolutionize mental health research and lead to new ways of treating and diagnosing these conditions," emphasized Douglas Nixon, co-author of the study from the Feinstein Institutes for Medical Research in the U.S.